Hey everybody, how you doing? Um, I guess I'm on the clock already, so this is about a visionary art quest that Lisa and I took. Stone-faced, we jumped in the car and drove 3,000 miles this January. First stop, Howard Finster's Paradise Garden. It was a place where Howard made 46,000 visionary art pieces, and Howard was a man with... Uh, a lot going on. He was a minister. He got a, a vision from God that said, make me 5,000 pieces of art. Howard decided, I can make more than that. In his lifetime, 46,000 pieces. Big shoes to fill, right? And Howard had a way with art. Folk art he made from everything. You can see in the background, everything was viable for art for Howard. He did small things, he did large things, he made this turret house all himself, no blueprints, no plans, he was just a man on a mission. So for Lisa and I, the, the trip was about visionary art, and Howard is kind of the first master of visionary art. We also went to Ave Maria Grotto, and this place, a uh, monk, Joseph, made representations of all the religious buildings that he could think of in the world took him years and years of his life that's what he devoted everything to this which looks like a spaceship landing is actually auto parts it is the art car museum in houston and it's a wonderful place to go again lots of vision in the art we also had an opportunity to see things that were amazing in nature. Nature was looking over us the whole way. We had rain for most of our trip. We had these kinds of visions that came to us just driving by. It was a marvelous thing. In addition to that, you can see things like the beer can house, which is made with thousands of beer cans. It is a beautiful sight. And when you're near it and the wind blows, it sounds amazing. This, along with other pieces and other installations or environments, gave us a chance to ponder what is it that makes a visionary artist? What is it that makes an outsider artist? What is it that makes folk art? And we needed things, you know, sustenance. We needed other things that would help us get through our days, and we found them along the way. Everybody needs buttons. This is an installation that is made with hundreds of buttons. The Button King has a button museum. It is an amazing place in Bishopville, South Carolina. Um, you would not be unhappy to see him. We also found a voodoo priest, and we brought him home thinking that maybe he could help us understand what visionary art is all about. Um, the voodoo priest is, is a beautiful piece. It also leads us to looking at uh, different environments. Sister Juanita Leonard, who is a minister, cannot live without painting. Her ceiling, her floors, her walls, her yard, everything has art on it. It is an environment that is amazing, and Sister Juanita will not stop painting for all of her life. Um, we went to Butch Anthony's Museum of Wonder, another amazing environment where art is created. Butch was doing this from the age of 13, finding things in nature, creating all sorts of pieces of art. The environment stretches forever. This little guy, we found him in Houston. He's part of a 60 foot long, 12 foot tall mosaic wall. A wonderful creation by an organization called the Orange Peel. In so many different areas of the South and obviously the country, environments like this are created by artists with a vision. And this type of environment is sustained because it is managed, because it is taken care of. If these environments are to thrive and be viable, 
they need to be taken care of. Here's another one, Pasaquan. This environment was created by a man who got a vision from creatures, humans from the future, who told him what to build. I think he did exactly what they told him. <laughs> this environment was falling by the wayside. This environment here, Pearl Friar's topiary gardens, will only last as long as Pearl Friar does. They're extremely beautiful. He has found a vision with a pruner and a tree, and it goes on for um, forever. Here's Pasaquan when on the right side it's not maintained, on the left side there's restoration going on. The thing that we found about visionary and outsider art that was amazing is that it needs care and love like all of us do. If it's not taken care of, this is what happens. This is Margaret's grocery. It's falling into itself. It's going away and it'll be gone soon and what it was was beautiful. What it is now is almost gone. Some of this visionary art is leaving us, flying away. Hopefully, like the butterflies, they'll survive. Again, take care of it, enjoy it. Visionary art is here for all of us.